Mary Magdalene was a lady when she first met Jesus that Jesus had cast seven demons from her, okay? Think about that, that she had had a life that before she met Christ, can you imagine having seven demons living inside of you? She met Jesus and Jesus cast seven demons out of her and she began to be a part of that group of ladies that traveled around with the disciples uh, as they were a part of their journey and as Jesus was a part of his teaching and healing ministry and delivering ministry to many others. And so she'd spent a large part of that period of time, three, three and a half years with Jesus. And of course now she's seen him crucified and she is grieving over the fact that the one who gave her hope is now gone, okay? That's what she's thinking. Now, can you imagine what she's trying to put in her mind. Okay, what does this mean for me and my future, okay? I didn't have a future before I met him, okay? He helped me and then now he's gone. What is my future going to be from this time forward? And so she's struggling with all of this, trying to again, understand what it's going to mean to her life. And so there in that moment, in her doubt, in her, in her despair, in her hopelessness, she's there at the tomb and she encounters the angels that are there. And, and she thinks that they're the gardener, which by the way, couldn't you imagine something like this as you needing a gardener, right? Okay. But then in this moment, she realizes because Jesus now speaks to her and does one thing initially, what does Jesus do? Jesus calls her name. Now think about that, okay? Jesus calls her name. And I can just imagine in the process that when she heard Jesus call her name there at the tomb that day, that it reminded her of the first time that Jesus had called her name and brought deliverance to her life. And the Bible says that immediately she knew who it was because no one can speak your name like Jesus can, okay? And I want you to know today that Jesus knows your name, okay? And Jesus wants to speak your name to you, to let you know that you are personally very important to him. And, and in that moment, in the recognition that this was the Lord and that he was risen from the grave, that he was alive. And in that moment, she was also given a mission. And the mission that she was given was to go and tell the disciples that he has risen from the grave.